Good day, friend of God. Welcome to prayer on Thursday, the 15th of February. Let's take a deep breath as we present ourselves to God in worship. Lord, open our lips together, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us together. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. Jubilate Deo, Jubilate Deo, Alleluia, Alleluia. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before God's presence with a song. Know this, the Lord is God. God has made us, and we are the Lord's. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter the gates with thanksgiving. Go into the courts with praise. Give thanks to God and call upon the divine name. For the Lord is good. Mercy is everlasting. And God's faithfulness endures from age to age. And so we sing. Jubilate Deo. Jubilate Deo. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 143 arises from the context of hopelessness and depression. The psalmist is sorely afflicted by dangerous enemies. It is a cry for God's help and deliverance to show the way forward. In the absence of real bodily enemies, we can consider those forces which are our enemies in the spiritual life, our own sin and the forces of wickedness that surround O oh Lord, hear my cry. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me, crushes me to the ground, makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Let us pray. God of our hope, when we are distracted by care and sickness, help us to recognize your image in ourselves and in others, that we may be made whole and the world become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the Older Testament, today we're reading from the minor prophet Habakkuk. Habakkuk ministered over a hundred years after our last prophet yesterday, Amos. The focus of his ministry is the people of Judah, the southern kingdom. Babylon was becoming a dominant world power at the time, and soon Babylon would exert its destructive force against Judah. Chapter 3, verses 1 through 10, and verses 16 to 18. This is the prayer of Habakkuk. Listen how it resonates with every longing heart to this day. Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, O Lord. Renew them in our day. In our time, make them known 
In wrath, remember mercy. God came from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. God's glory covered the heavens and praise filled the earth. God's splendor was like the sunrise. Rays flashed from the divine hand where power was hidden. Plague went before the Lord. Pestilence followed in step. God stood and shook the earth, looked and made the nations tremble. The ancient mountains crumbled and the age-old hills collapsed. God's ways are eternal. I saw the tents of Kushan in distress, the dwellings of Midian in anguish. Were you angry with the rivers, O Lord? Was your wrath against the streams? Did you rage against the sea when you rode with your horses and your victorious chariots? You uncovered your bow. You called for many arrows. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and writhed. Torrents of water swept by, the deep roared and lifted its waves on high. I heard, and my heart pounded, my lips quivered at the sound. Decay crept into my bones and my legs trembled. Yet I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, Though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In prayer, Habakkuk recounts the amazing creative power of God displayed in the creation. This sets the foundation for renewing in his heart the knowledge of God's power and strength. So even though they are in a time of fear and are experiencing famine, the tremendous willpower of Habakkuk to rejoice in the Lord, to be joyful in God my Savior. See the importance of willpower here. This is far beyond any feelings because the the dire situation could only lead one to despair and discouragement. But by training his will, Habakkuk, despite circumstances, rejoices in the Lord and intends, sets his will to be joyful in God my Savior. It's a wonderful and powerful example for us to, in the power of the Spirit, by faith, to rise above the circumstances of our lives and to find joy in God's salvation. Lord, be our helper. Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 21. Encourage us to continue to press toward the goal. St. Paul writes, Not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Join others in following my example, sisters and brothers, and take note of those who live according to the pattern we gave you. For, as I have often told you before, and now say again even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is on earthly things, but our citizenship is is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that we will be like his glorious body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, let us keep focused on the heavenly path. There is life beyond our mortal bodies. There is life beyond our savings and investments. There is life beyond our current hopes and dreams. 
there is life beyond our current afflictions and relationship challenges. Let us with St. Paul and all those who have gone on before us continue to press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called us heavenward in Christ Jesus. Our deepest citizenship is in heaven, and by grace our bodies will be transformed to be like his glorious body. Thanks be to God. Therefore, friends, with confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church throughout the world, especially the church under persecution, we pray, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, especially the churches of our communities gathered here today, for St. Philip's, that we together in faithful witness may witness to the gospel of Christ. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism, for their teachers and sponsors, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among the nations, tribes, and peoples, we pray to you, Lord, Lord, have mercy for the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, Lord, Lord, have mercy for all whom we have injured or offended. We pray to you, Lord, together, Lord, have mercy for grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Gathering our prayers, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And now the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And fold you and yours this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day today, Thursday.